Hi guys, Sam here with Veg Stoves, and today I want to show you some prototype stoves. Uh, the design for this stove I've had for actually about eight months. I just haven't had time to uh, get in the shop and and work on these. But basically, what it is is a hybrid stove, and you can see that I basically married a aluminum bottle with a band that I milled and to hold the pot stand. I uh, inserted the nipple and basically you have a remote fueled stove. Now this stove, this is the final version that I came up with. I actually narrowed this band a little bit as you can see just to try to cut some weight. Uh, it didn't really affect the way the stove operated and it didn't affect the stability and strength of the stove. Uh, this is a very stable stove and it'll work with see it'll work with my 22 ounce cook pot works fine with it and it'll work with I know I got some pots around here somewhere uh, my 10 centimeter cook pot it'll work with that Really, just about any cook pot it'll work with. This is the 12 centimeter. Works with that. And I shot some video on this stove. I've actually burned this stove uh, quite a few times. Uh, and it works really well. Actually, it's a lot hotter of a stove than I anticipated. I was actually looking for a baking stove. So I'm going to have to work on that a little bit more to get the wick situation figured out so that we can bake with it. But the legs, the integrated pot stand just folds right up, very compact. And you can see it's not much bigger diameter than the fuel bottle. Uh, you marry this to the adjustable remote feeder and you've got a good little setup. It's very lightweight. This right here, this stove, as you see it with the integrated pot stand, weighs 29 grams. And it's pretty good because most stoves, if you're going to use some other kind of pot stand, like a wire pot stand, those pot stands tend to weigh around 10 grams by themselves. So this is a very lightweight stove that you can get into a remote fueled stove. And I think this will be a good base stove. Uh, I haven't decided on a price point for this stove yet. Probably in the $20, $25 range, somewhere around in there. But I wanted to show this. And let me show you how we made this stove. Still looking for a name for this stove. So I haven't quite got a name narrowed down. 
but it weighs 29 grams and it works quite well when married to the adjustable remote feeder and I did some burns with this stove uh, the first prototype so let's take a look at that and see uh, see that video hey guys Sam here back stoves and today I'm playing around with a new prototype stove that uh, I've had this idea for quite some time but I just really haven't had time to uh, get out and uh, actually work on it because I've been bit so busy with other things and other projects but uh, basically it's a <clears throat> basically it's a hybrid stove and as you can see it has an integrated pot stand folds up nicely the integrated pot stand folds up real nice it's very compact uh, this is made out of a small aluminum bottle and I've rolled the top edge and it's been pressed into a pot stand frame that's I CNC'd and machined uh, just for this and then the nipple cap goes right through there gives it remote capabilities now this is one design that I've been working on and what I have burning there is the other and these are both prototypes and I've I've haven't really had a lot of time to play around with them yet so we'll see how well they do I do have a few burns on this one and it has pretty decent times as far as boiling my intent was to have a, a stove that I can bake with and so we'll see uh, this is very the way this is made it's very sturdy and very st stable and the whole stove with the integrated pot stand everything only weighs around 31 grams so it makes it super lightweight uh, most remote fueled stoves you have to have some type of external uh, pot stand uh, like a wire pot stand or something and those are range around 10 grams for the pot stand so I think this is in itself is an improvement um, and it looks very promising so far you can see it has a nice nice flame pattern See if we can get a better view. And it's covering pretty much the bottom of the 10 centimeter cook pot there. And I've got the remote adjusted up just a little bit. The nipple is just a little higher than that nipple. And once the water gets up to temp, I'll push that down all the way. I'll push the push this down all the way and, and that'll reduce the amount of fuel getting to the stove and hopefully that will give me a simmer mode. And if not, we'll have to put some kind of washer or something inside the top of the stove maybe you can throw a coin in there or something just to reduce the amount of uh, wick exposed but I don't think this is going to be lightning quick as far as boiling water but I was trying to trying to find some type of a uh, lightweight alternative for a remote fueled stove and I came up with this hybrid idea and I haven't seen anything quite like it it's very promising it's very lightweight and I thought I'd give you just a sneak peek and let you see what I'm working on 
I've also got some other projects in the works that I'm working on that's not stove related um, and I'll be shooting some video on that and hopefully I'm hopefully gonna finish that up this weekend but we'll see how that goes um, if time permits so that's the new stove in action uh, as you can see it burns quite well and these three prototypes here I'll probably offer them up for sale if someone's interested in that please uh, send me a PM or email me through the website and uh, we'll get you one of these out I really just want to get them out there and let some get some feedback on them so I'm Sam at Batch Stoves thanks for watching the videos please subscribe to the YouTube channel have a great day